This week I'm going to be explaining all about crop factor and how that affects your lenses. Hello, my name is Simon Cade and this is DSLR Guide. So I've been doing some research looking into sensor sizes in video cameras and finding out how these different um, factors will affect the final image. And what I've found is that if you look into the higher end cinema cameras, such as the Arri Alexa, the Canon C100, C300 and 500, um, the Sony F65, all of those big, big cameras like that have a very similar sensor size in that it's roughly a Super 35 sensor. Now this is also roughly the same size that you find in an APS-C sized um, DSLR such as the 600D, T2i, 7D and all of those. Now for photo, that is not the standard. For photo the standard is full frame, um, but that's a different matter, I'm going to be talking about video. So what this means is that if you have a sensor smaller or larger than Super 35, then you will have to do something with the lenses in order to compensate for that crop factor. So if you have a sensor that is smaller than the Super 35 sensor, then you'll find that the image has been cropped and you will then have to essentially zoom out in order to get the same image. Now I've done some tests, but please remember that I'm completely and only talking about the field of view and the compression, not the actual um, quality of the image because um, in these tests they all look very different. But the important thing is we're talking about field of view here. So to demonstrate this point, I've set up two cameras, camera A and camera B, which, which have different sensor sizes. I'm going to show you how you can achieve the same shot with these two different cameras. So to start with, I just want to quickly illustrate the point of different focal lengths. So if you start with a um, shot at 48 millimeters on camera A, you can see it looks fairly average. But if I was to zoom out first, then obviously you can imagine what would happen when you zoom out. You can see more things in the frame. But then if you were to push the camera forward so that it's closer to the subject, closer to the door, then you can see that even though we are using a different lens, this time a 30 millimeter lens, you can see that there is a difference in terms of the compression. You can see we have got more background and it looks slightly um, warped. This is the, essentially this is the wide angle look. This is the look that you get when you use a wide angle lens compared to a less wide lens like a 48. So you can see here that by getting closer and zooming out, it has a big effect on the image. So now let's take a look at camera A and camera B. So on camera A here, I've got the same shot as before. It's at 48 millimeters, fairly average. But then if I was to take that same lens and put it onto camera B, you can see that there's a big difference in the shot. It has been essentially cropped because the sensor is smaller, so it has essentially cropped the image. Now this means that we're getting a completely different shot. It appears to be zoomed in, even though the camera is the same distance from the door as camera A. So in order to compensate for this, camera A has a sensor which is 1.6 times bigger than camera B. Now this means that all we have to do is take the original focal length and divide it by 1.6 in order to get our new focal length to get the same image out of camera B. So if camera A was using 48 millimeters, if you divide that by 1.6, you get 30 millimeters for camera B. And you can see that if we switch to a 30 millimeter lens, zooming out to 30 millimeters, we get exactly the same image in terms of field of view. We get exactly the same image as camera A. So if you want to achieve the look of 50 millimeters, on a Super 35 sensor. You can't just put a 50 millimeter lens onto a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera because that's a much smaller sensor. So you have to find out what the crop factor is between those two cameras and then you simply adjust your focal length to compensate for the small sensor. But if you, if you do the maths correctly, it will give you exactly the same shot in terms of um, field of view and also the compression that we talked about earlier on. So hopefully that's been helpful. Um, it's quite easy to achieve the kind of look that you're going for. All you have to do is find out exactly what sensor you're aiming for and how big the sensor is in your camera. 
There are websites like Able Cine, which will help you to determine exactly um, what kind of sensor your camera has and how that compares to others. So basically anyone can get that kind of um, cinema camera look as long as you have the right lenses to facilitate it. So that's it, hopefully that's shed some light on the really complicated subject of crop factors. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.